to do work with crafts. Today is look on the calendar. I can't believe see where I am. Friday, twenty seventh. Wow. Is it really February next week? Wow. Twenty seventh of January, twenty twenty three. And this is Friday Tutorials. Well, I was originally going to do a crochet or a knitted one. We've got a little ladder just under here. <laughs> yes, uh, so all I was going to do was going to do either a knitting or a crochet one this week. But because I'm so full of cold, I can't bend down. And I'm going to be constantly wiping my little nose. <laughs> So I thought, no, that is just not going to be practical this week. So what I thought I would do, because I have been asked about this, is about blocking and, um, you know, soaking your knits and your crochet and stuff like that. So what I have done is I've brought down some different things to show you. And I am going to be um, soaking my hand spun skeins, a pair of socks, and a, my crocheted hat okay now if you notice here on the socks all the ends are still attached I do not do anything with my ends until after I have actually um, soaked and blocked them I just find that and um, then if, if anything if there is any movement or anything in the in the fabric that's been made then it will all go together and there's less chance of it unraveling and all and so on now obviously you can get there you go <laughs> you could get the posh sock blockers or i have known people to get go to like pound shops or something like that and buy those plastic um what they call placemats and then draw your own you know what i mean there is a way around it i've had those absolutely donkey years tell me be good um so yeah okay when it comes to the hat for instance it um you can go out and buy a mannequin head or you could use a balloon do you know what i mean just a balloon and then after it's done pop the balloon you're done so you know what i mean there is easier ways around it so you know if you're a person that makes loads of hats it might be worth investing into a mannequin i personally am just gonna uh, soak this hat what's he knit now oh i do he's chewing up something <laughs> A bit of paper um so yeah and um the oh i forgot what i was saying then yeah i forgot to get the balloons uh so yeah so say if you're a person that actually do a lot of hats uh make a lot of hats then yes it might be worth investing into one of the little mannequin heads but they are quite expensive i keep looking at charity shops but a lot nine times out of ten the charity shops like to keep them, don't they <laughs> so yeah Okay then, so when it comes to what to use to actually put in the water. Now, for years and years and years and years and years and years, and this is years old, and I still go back to this. This is the Woolette, or Woolite. Okay, it is uh, delicate like new, and it's delicate uh, for wool, okay? And it can be done in the machine or by hand, but obviously I soak my all my knits and crochet by hand. Um... Yeah, as I say, I got this from Home Bargains. It's not expensive. So I've had this about six years at least. Do you know what I mean? And I've just got to renew because I've got a little bit there left. It smells absolutely beautiful. Mind you, not last year, but the year before, my lovely friend Teresa, she spoiled me in my advent. And, and look, I was actually spoiled with the Sheer Delight uh, wool wash bar. Uh, yes, I have been using this. It, you know, it's the same thing. It does the same job. So there you go, see? It's just you rub this in the actual water like a bar of soap and all the thingy come off. But I will actually show you today with the woolite. Okay? Or oh, shall I? Because I'm doing my hand spun and I've done the hand. No, I won't. Sorry, I'll show with the bar. I will show with the bar because I've done my other hand spun in the bar. <laughs> so, but with the woolite, all you do is you get the same temperature water, put a little bit of this in, swish it around, and then, you know, do what I'm going to do in a moment. Okay then, right, so I will actually pop mine all in a bowl. So let's move my blockers out the way. And let's tilt you down. There we go. Okay. Now, when it comes to water, you want it tepid. And I mean, you know, 
tepid oh you know not hot not cold just tepid because you don't want to felt anything you don't want to shrink anything you've got to remember this is wool it isn't an acrylic it is a wool so yep that's absolutely fine you know it is just tepid at this stage i would have got me bit of the wool i tipped it in and swished it round but because i'm going to use my bar today as i say because i've used on the other hand spuns just so you know you just put it in whee, and uh, wish it around <laughs> there we go so it's got nice in the water see I have help like we always have help here don't we yes we do <laughs> this way mum it's nearly half past 11 where's my dweebies <laughs> that's what he's saying <laughs> so yeah just use it like a bar of soap basically there we go okay so I put that back on my little bit of paper and when that's dry I'll put it back in the cloth right then okay that's right good boy so people can see so this is the crochet hat just lightly put it in don't move it around as i say you don't want it to felt or nothing so let the bubbles go get the socks do the same and and undo by skeins of my hand spun. Whee! I might as well do it all together because I have the water here. <laughs> so you can get them all done. I have got, I'm just at the moment plying my last piece of hand spun off of the, uh, what you would call it, the fleece that I was given from Teresa. So um, I will do that one another day after I've ply, finished plying it. So pop that in there like that. Just let it sit. Get that in there. Let the bubbles release. Now I would normally leave this in here for about 20 to 30 minutes. Just let it soak and do its stuff. There we go. There we are. Cool, I am pleased with that hand spun if I say so myself. <laughs> there, right, so let me get my towel. Let's lift you up so you can see. Right then, okay, so 20 to 30 minutes is just no really time to be honest. You know, I've known people that's pop, pop their stuff in the bowl and for soak and then gone out and done some shopping and come back. Do you know what I mean? There's no real, I normally do 20 to 30 minutes. But as I say, I'll probably be a little bit over than that because um, we're going to be having lunch at 12, me and the little lad. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so uh, so I'm just going to make a nice cup of tea now and uh, have a chill. <laughs> so I can, uh, yeah, while this is actually soaking. So yeah, as I say, so leave it there and then we will get to the next part. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> right then, okay, I'm back. I've had a cup of tea. I thought Elby and I could have a later lunch. <laughs> it's 12 o'clock. So now, um, this, so these have been soaking down for half an hour, and then I'll be getting them out. I'm just going to get a towel, just an old towel. Put that down there. Right, okay. Now, let's move you down. Okay, so... When you take out your pieces, obviously you don't want to like wring them in a way. <laughs> Just try and get the water out. Um, now I would do this with the uh, with a shawl, with a sweater. I will say, I don't quite tell you what, it actually smells like yarn dale. <laughs> Will it be in the wool? <laughs> um, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, 
um, say just ring out your but not ring don't ring out your bits I would do this with a shawl uh, or a sweater or anything like that let's just put that there so that's the hand spun the socks just give them a little bit of a as I say this is how I do it so all these that are happening on the Friday this is how I do my bits Uh, right, okay, pop that there. Let's get rid of that filter. Oh, it does. <laughs> and then let's give it a bit of a rinse. I always do give it a bit of a rinse. <laughs> so, but look at the colour, you see. It does make a difference. Now, um, actually it's quite nice outside. I wish I'd have done some washing. <laughs> actually put them out, so put outside so I think the hand spun I will probably pop outside uh, the other bits I will just put upstairs on the there we go on the clothes error there right as I say I do like to give mine just a little bit of a rinse just to get a little bit of the everything out of it like so now obviously with a garment while I'm doing this let me hang on let's put you up so you can actually see me I don't know if that's a good thing really but there you go right <laughs> while I'm just rinsing off the yard <laughs> Um, when it comes to a garment or a big shawl now obviously in the summer if it's nice weather you can uh, peg a, a shawl on if you haven't got a lot of room in your home you can peg a shawl on your line you know put it along the top and then put, put pegs all the way around and that actually blocks it absolutely fine or you can use the blocker mats. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the blocker mats because I can't get down on the floor and I normally have Glenn help me and he's at work. Um, but what you can do is you can go out, because you know what I'm like for things like this, you can go out and buy blocking mats where basically all they are is, you know those... Those... Um, jigsaw big jigsaw square mats that you get in, in the children's section in a packet actually when I went down to home bargains was it last week before they had some in and they were like you get a pack of 12 I think it is something silly like that I think for 10 pound do you know what I mean so I got them yeah mine's got princesses on it on one side but I don't use that side I use the clear side <laughs> and who's those you know me well obviously the world now <laughs> But you know what I mean? They're a damn sight cheaper than actually going out and getting a blocking mat. Um, and they say it's, it, they're the same thing. They are exactly the same thing. And then you pin it out to the size on what it says on, the, on your pattern. You will actually have on the end of a pattern, especially an independent one like from Ralvery or something like that. You will have a measurement, um, a blocking measurement, and you so you measure it and block it to that size. That's what I normally do, and you pin it to your mat. And also, you um, you use rust-proof pins. Now I've got the blocking um, wassets. Oh, I'll have to get them and I'll show you. What I'll do is I'll, I'll get this part done and I'll I'll show you actually my blocking tools. I think that'll be a good idea, even though I can't do it. <laughs> Um, today, you can smell the smell the sheep, can't you, boy? <laughs> you can smell the sheep. <laughs> right then, so now we're going to do the little dance. Now, as I say, when it comes to a, <laughs> let's put you. Where can I put you? I'll tell you what. Hold on, hold on. I'm in pause. Yeah. Right then. Okay. So let's say I've got an old towel, and I will lay like my hat on here. Roll that up. Come on, darling, bring your feet. Yeah, good boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs> Get the socks. As I say, I'll do this with a um a shawl or anything like that. 
and then a jumper or anything and then you roll it like that put it on the floor <laughs> and then you stamp on it so hold on <laughs> right then okay i'll hold on to the unit here oh you can't actually see it hold on <laughs> there's uh, there it is right oh dear i should have done that right so they're all in there and then so you get most of the <laughs> <laughs> most of the um damp out the wa the water out of the yard of the yeah of the, of the yard basically and that's it basically so hold on a second <laughs> oh. right then okay so that is the water stage of it so now what I'll do is I'll take you upstairs and I don't know if to risk about my, uh, my um, I don't know, I'll see what I decide to do with it when it comes to the hand spun. I might put that on the clothes area as well because I'm hoping the elbow won't be interested in it if it's hanging up. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking there but hey ho. Right then, okay, so let's take you upstairs and get to the second part and then we will... Um, and then I'll show you all my blocking tools. So, we'll be back in a moment. <laughs> right then, welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> okay then. So, the little mats, my little mats are right behind my workbench and I can't find them. But I was lucky enough, I was gifted some of the larger ones. If you've got any um, if grandchildren or anything that's got some of the, this kind of mat, but in the smaller version, they're, and they're finished with them, then get them for the blocking. They're absolutely brilliant. So come on, darling. Good boy. Good boy. So this is the really large one, but all it is, oh, <laughs> is a smaller version of that. So all it is is that spongy stuff. As I say, you get them in the children's section, okay? They're the ones that join all together, and then you lay all your garment and everything on. Now, when it comes to the pins, you can actually have... Um, Knit Pro T pins for blocking garments, and you get a pack of 50 there. I use those as well as the Knit, pick, the knit, knit Pro um, Knit Blockers, which are those. My ones are all white. Uh, you could also have, get blocking rods. I haven't got any of those. But I will say these now have come in rainbow colours. And I know that Ellie from Craft House Magic, she's got some in her shop. And I keep looking and I keep thinking, well, I've already got these. Do I really need any more? So there we go. <laughs> right then, okay, let's get this up. So because obviously you, you know we live in a little two up, two down. And so there's not a lot of room. So I'll be doing it all in the... There he is, look. There's the shadow. Right there. <laughs> Still hasn't had his dreamies, bless his heart. Right then, okay. So, let's get me blockers. I'll put my socks off there. They're not going to hang them on. So, those I got from Loop in London. I've never been there. I'd love to go there. I really would. Uh, they posted them to me, as I say, it's years ago when I got those. Um, right, let's put this here. Oh, and that is my sausage with the socks and the hat in right so let's get oh, let's get this up like so and as i say right let's lift you up a little bit higher hopefully this will work right let's get the socks first so let's undo now i am going to say right <laughs> if they like my brother's ones, I will do this because they're a gift. I do not do this for every pair of my socks that I have. If so, I would be constantly blocking socks, basically. Um, so I would, um, I do them for if, if they're a gift. It's definitely if they're a gift. Otherwise, I pop all mine and Glenn's socks in a wash machine on a wall wash. And that works fine. But, yeah, that's them there. So now they will block nicely. So they'll dry to the shape of the blocker. You see? That's the way they work. And I do like the ones with the hangers, as I say, because they hang nicely. 
Now my hat, as I said, it should really block out like that, okay? <laughs> oh, that's, that, that's this, it's West Yorkshire Spinners. That's this that smells of Yarndale. <laughs> But um, I haven't, I forgot my bloom. So I'm just going to lay that on there like so. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll, I'll finish off what I've got to do with it afterwards. Like that. Now, my hand spun. Let's turn this round. And obviously I'll put the towel on there as well. <laughs> when the job's done. So let's get my hand spun. and put that there. And get my pegs. Right, so, obviously I've tied up, let's get the, the skates, see I've got my little ties, so what I normally do, this is how I put them on the line, is I find one that I haven't tied too tight, here goes one, <laughs> and then pop that on there, and then pop that on there, okay, now obviously, the water is going to run to the end so if there is any well there is water left in it i can feel it so what i would do is i would put a big liner underneath with a towel on top so my carpet don't get wet or put the bath mat underneath to protect the bit underneath there we go there's another one that's nice and loose so pop that under there like so and then pop that a little bit further away Glenn's going to come over for work shortly and go, Ben, there's some weird things in the bathroom. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> so, put that under there. And put that there, as I say. And then I will oh, let's straighten you out a bit. There we go. Nice and... There we go. So now they will dry nice and straight. So they're not actually. I'm 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 quite chuffed with myself because when I first started doing this, uh, my spinning, um, I was obviously over spinning because even when they were hung like this, they had a twist. Where now, see that they're completely flat. I go <laughs> surprise myself sometimes. I really do. <laughs> right then, and then this towel can go just on there like so and I think because there's only these three because they're all okay I will just pop my bath mat underneath there like so okay well I hope you've learned something from this it'll be a miracle if it has <laughs> if you have um, but you know what I mean that is basically how I would do my um, soaking and blocking of my crochet and my knit uh, my knits so sorry it's not uh like i had planned but it's just not good it would have it would have been awful for you uh which is not good so um yeah um we're quite sunny out there today as i said it's quite nice so uh yeah hopefully we'll have a nice weekend as well <laughs> so i'm gonna hopefully get my oh yeah we've got a drip now so i will put my mat underneath there um what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm hoping to get the last skein um, plied up uh, over the weekend. And um, yeah, that's about it really for today. That's all I can think of. If you have any questions, please ask below. Uh, I'll leave the information, ask below in the comments or email me on uh, Little Workroom Crafts 1616. I'll put it on the screen at gmail.com. And I will try and answer the questions the best I can. But as I say, this is how I do my um, soaking and blocking. Oh, someone decided to do some drilling. <laughs> okay then, right, so I will be back on Monday as always. So please have a beautiful, lovely, lovely weekend. And I will see you soon. So take care and happy crafting. Bye.